bonkers. So we're out here at Sonoma Raceway. Yep. Uh, checking out a drift event. It's Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday night drift nights. Uh, they do a drift and drag every night or every Wednesday, uh, so it's pretty rad. It, there's a sh there's a shitload of people out here. I would shitload say like there's lot. at least twenty. There's, there's, at, there's at least twenty cars just in this run group, and I think they do three run groups. So there's a lot of people here, and there's a, a whole ton of people over there too. It's my first drift event ever, so I'm stoked. Oh, this is event here with the drag night it kind of exposes both crowds to both both sides Absolutely. so like we were up in the stands and we heard uh, a couple I heard a couple people talking about uh, oh this like this actually looks kind of fun like they they were right, they right, walk up right. to it and they watch it as if it's uh, a joke or as if it's like these kids right. out here Absolutely. doing stupid shit and then they see it. And then they see it and they're like, oh, I kind of want to bring the, yeah, exactly. the whatever, the fucking Corvette over here. Exactly. And we can go for a run. So I like it. I think I think motorsports. Yeah, and entry like level is a lot lower right. too. Oh, man. So that's, that's the thing. It's that's like, the one lesson I'm learning from yeah. this is that uh, <laughs> I need to, like, take my bar of perfection right. way down. And I need to just say, fuck it. We don't need all of these right. things. Just do the thing. And just do the thing. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm positive that I'll be able to get the car up and running to come out here next week. And hopefully, if we can get the car up and running and we get out here next week and everything goes great next week, we do the whole run, motor doesn't blow up, all of that stuff. Because keep in mind, it's still a 285,000 mile motor. It could very well blow up at any moment. Uh, and I think that weekend, Hoonigan is doing their Burnyard Bash, so we might just have to trailer it down and see what we can do in the Burnyard. But for now... Welcome back to day 47,295,000 of Dirty 30. Uh, we have less than 48 hours <laughs> until our first event with this at Sonoma. Um, and there's still a shitload to do. But I think everything's kind of been coming together pretty quickly, so I think it's doable. My fingers are crossed, because I already paid the 90 bucks for the two entry fees. <laughs> um, so far, what I've done since last time is I got the water temp sensor mounted in yeah, start with that. So here's the water temp sensor. Um, it's super simple. It just uses an electronic sender, uh, power to the system, a ground from the system or from the gauge to chassis ground, and then a single signal wire that goes to the sensor, the sender. Basically what I did is on our little fill neck thing, I just tapped a hole on the bottom of it uh, with a 1 8 NPT tap which is the same tap size as the sensor, and then threaded it in. Um, I was expecting the, uh, the water going through the system to be able to ground it, and it's not quite doing that yet, so I'm gonna have to basically just attach an engine ground to this little collar, to the, um, to the uh, coupler, and um, then it should work fine. So we have water temp, uh, the next big thing I did is we put in a Mishimoto radiator. Mishimoto totes hooked us up, and by totes hooked us up, I mean we paid full retail price for this. Uh, it's this is not a Miata radiator. This is a Miata, or this is a radiator meant for. Uh, it's meant really specifically for doing V mount setups, and so the big indicator of that is that the fill neck is kind of chilling at this angle over here. So this realistically is still 
not the greatest setup because we still have this kind of downspout uh, and that's kind of causing some problems with um, bleeding the system but time and effort I think at the end of the day if I'm really having a hard time bleeding the system I might just remove the thermostat altogether uh, this is California so it never really gets cold enough to need a thermostat for the system to warm up um, we just have to be careful that we don't like rip it too hard before the system I mean no promises but that we don't rip it too hard before this the the water heats up and that's realistically that's all the thermostat does is it's, it's it keeps the water in the engine until the engine gets good and hot and then it lets it out and that kind of lets the engine warm up a lot faster it's not really something we need need so the radiator is mounted very similar to the way the radiator was mounted before but this time instead of bolting it in on the bottom I just have pins and these pins have the vacuum uh, these little guys the vacuum seal covers on them and that's basically just for like vibration dampening uh, the vibration so essentially now there's a little bit of play on the bottom and then these arms have a little bit of play just in the fact that they're arms and they're sticking out kind of far from the, the chassis the fans are the stock fans from before uh, I'm just gonna wire them up to ignition so that when the car turns on uh, the fans turn on with it uh, it's not the ideal situation again because it's gonna cause the car to take a little bit longer to heat up but I don't really have time <laughs> or money to uh, do a system properly with like a temp sensor and all that kind of stuff so I think that'll do for now and yeah I, I'm not super happy with how the lower radiator hose is mounting it's a little bit pinched so I have a 45 degree coupler coming in that'll help me um, that will help me kind of get that kink out but even if it doesn't get here I, the kinks not really the end of the world so cooling system you know I, like I said I still just need to bleed the system but other than that cooling system is good to go now oh, the big thing now Jay's here Jay's here big thing we got to do tonight is we have to finish the cage so finishing the cage means basically doing what you're seeing now, uh, finishing the door bars, but for the passenger side. Uh, get the door bars bent. Next step is get started on the bash bars, front and rear bash bars. Because once the bash bars go in, then I can start wiring them in the lights. Um, hopefully the headlights come in in time. If not, I looked at the rule book again, headlights aren't like mandatory mm. it would just be nice to have them uh tail lights definitely a lot more mandatory uh so tail lights are here though oh you haven't seen them yet they're they're massive they're silly they're massive <laughs> and they were just the cheapest oh, led shit. tail lights on amazon so they're 40 oh. bucks a piece um really low power usage so i don't have to run like a crazy relay system to run them i can just run the run the wire straight come on but luckily it's everything all built into one so we don't really need any other lights for the rear this is all of the lights that we need mm. um, so we have we have wires there is what is this uh, black wire is low so that's tail lights um red wire is high so that's brake lights and then white wire is ground so white wire is just going to go so basically these are going to sit give or take like that maybe a little bit further out depending on how we get the bash bar mounted maybe as wide as we can get them because then realistically if we really need to we could put another one in the middle just for shits and giggles it should be a relatively simple system um, we just have to get stuff mounted and then we can get going. So let's, let's get started on bending some bars. All right, so door bars are done. I'll get those notched and welded later. Now we need to do 
Um, let's start back here because getting the tail lights done seems like it's more important. So if we build a more robust bar, basically a double decker bar, mm -hmm. then we can just take that on and off if we're doing drift days right. or whatever. So we'll right. build that one for now. So we'll do two bars. Hold that at the edge of the tire. Actually, do it like so where this tire corner is. Mm -hmm. Right to that edge. Yeah. Got it? Yep. All right, so that's 65 and a quarter. Go just for shits and giggles, because I can always trim it down. So go to the edge of the, where the rim is. Yep. So that's 66 and a half. So if we start with 66 and a half, basically start with 66 and a half, we'll measure where the middle is. So that would be 33 and a quarter. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do our bends out from there. So if we want this to sit here, put a little bit higher. Let me four half of thirty four would be seventeen. Are you think about 35? Should we go a little bit more? Maybe 35 is good. 35? Yeah. Okay. Oh, can you go grab that clamp real quick? Yeah. Yeah. And that's pretty straight. So now we gotta figure out where we want this to go. Just trying to think. Trying to think of the best way to like guarantee it's going to be centered. Mm -hmm. Should we put this down, put this mark down where we want it? Yeah, let me just mirror it. And then just measure just that, it and then. Yep. Okay. So that one's going to be. Yeah, so let's measure it, we'll mark it. So, 19 and a half, pretty good. 19 and 3 eighths. Can you just hold that right there? We'll do it from the outside line, mm -hmm. and we'll do it on this side. Nineteen and three eighths, right? That's what you said. Yes. Just use basically the same measurement, or maybe we'll go a little bit narrower for the lower one, just for mm -hmm. aesthetics. Yeah. So set that down. Cool. So I want that to come a little bit further back because. The idea is that if we like get real close to the wall, like tap the wall, or whatever, I want the bar to hit the wall, but I don't want the tire to hit the wall. Right. So I, I, yeah, like that, that's pretty good. That, that's a solid, solid angle.
I got a whole bunch done today. Go for it. So passenger door, door bars are in. The bends aren't quite exactly mm. even the way they are on the driver's side, but. Oh, I see. I see the bottom bar. The front bar looks fine. Yeah. Or top bar, bar, rather. Uh, actually, the, the top bar is too far forward. Oh. Uh, the bottom bar is the same. Mm. The top bar is too far forward. But honestly, I don't really care. Um, I figured out a way to bleed the coolant system. Mm -hmm. And I got the um, gauge working. Mm -hmm. the, the gauge fix is a little janky. Saw that. It's a moder moderately janky. Uh, I stripped the end of the wire. I electrical taped the end of the wire to the coupler. And then I put the, um, the hose back on. It works. Thug life. So it is what it is. Um, but so to get the actual uh, system bled, this hose, so this used to go to the heater core. Okay. And so what I did is I just took a piece of pipe, whatever pipe that it was actually attached to before, I cut out like an inch and a half section of it and I just coupled it together. Mm. This is actually the highest point in the whole coolant system. Hmm. So if I have this open, and I pour water in through there, this- Oh, it'll bleed out through that edge. It bleeds out through there. Nice. So I figured out, I did, uh, we're gonna do a bit of a Home Depot fix. It was, I mean, I guess technically it's an Ace Hardware fix, but um, uh, it's actually gonna be kind of a clever system. So this is a half inch NPT um, T, so half inch on each side. Uh, one side of that hose is going to go in here. One side of the hose is going to go in here. And then this, we can just open up mm. to fill if we need to fill yeah. or to bleed it or to do whatever. done today mm -hmm. um, you gotta head out I will get this welded get the back welded completely all oh, right I was thinking about that when you're driving it around that is just like, tacked just, just <laughs> yeah um, but the back is a lot smaller so and like right. the fulcrum point is you know it's yeah, not it's as far tight. out yeah um, so yeah, get the back welded up, get the front welded up. Hope the wiring shit comes in tomorrow. Although, like to be perfectly honest, if we keep it moving, like the radiator seem to work. So I don't really we need, like, if we don't get the stuff to wire in the radiator tomorrow, or the fans tomorrow, I'll just take the fans off. Mm. And like, just yeah. hopefully maximize their flow that way. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. Where? So, gotta put the harnesses in. Did we get a tech? No. This is not really necessary. Yeah, yeah I was just wondering. We're gonna floor it until it bounces off the rail limiter, so oh, right. I don't really care what the RPMs are. Just paint this red. Like, that's where we'll be at. Oh, you know what we should do? Here. Just put a paper one in? No, well, I mean, we could, <laughs> but I'll just draw. <laughs> We got Team Pro Carious right here, yo. Thousand. We got two thousand. We got three thousand. Four thousand. Five thousand. Six thousand. Seven thousand. I wish I had a red marker. Right. And then at red line, brap. All the braps, y'all. Brap, 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 brap. Got the car in the trailer. That was that was the most amount of work I have ever done in the shortest amount of time. So today, I picked up the trailer, I mounted and wired the tail lights, I um, uh, welded.
welded up the whole rear bumper, welded up the front bumper. There was a couple spots I, I hadn't done on the front yet. Um, mounted the seats again, which took forever. Forever. It's like the work, I don't know why, it's yeah. just, I don't know. So lessons learned, when you're thick like me, this guy not so much anymore. You need kind of wide seats. So we could either get a bigger car, yeah, or I could lose, I don't know, 45 pounds. Yeah. I should probably do that anyway. We'll get some smaller seats next yeah, time. Yeah, but next and, time, uh, some snugger seats for yeah. sure. Uh, so either way, seats are in. Uh, I think the only thing I did, well, so the headlights came in. The only, I, I need right. to like fabricate brackets and all that for right. that. Like that's not, obviously not happening today. But the lights, um, the back lights, the fans. The fans got wired. It's all a little janky in that like it literally is all just powered directly by ignition, mm. but it's all fused. So at least if it shorts or if it like messes up, it's not gonna just like burn the car to the ground while we're in it. That's a plus. Uh, swapped out the coolant for new water with water water. Uh, got the seats mounted, almost destroyed my van trying to get the, the car on. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what happens. Car is on and that's car what that's, is on. that's the important thing. Yeah. And now we're headed to Sonoma only three hours late. So hopefully they're still running tech and Fingers hopefully crossed. there's still some daylight by the right. time we get to the racetrack because I don't have headlights. So uh, that's true. Either way, I'm fucking jazzed. Yeah. I am pumped. I am stoked. About to get it. In like an hour, you know, it's probably a half hour drive and then hopefully the tech, tech line quickly, is short. Yeah. Um, in like an hour will be the first time I've drifted on a track in 10 years. Wow. First time you've ever drifted. Ever. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully nothing explodes. Yeah. But let's get it. We're about let's to get, get it. it. Road trip. Road trip. I mean, it's not really a road trip. It's like. I mean, it's like. It's like 20 four, minutes. I was gonna say it's like 14 miles. Yeah. It's not really a road trip. <laughs> but we're going. We we're are for it. sure going. So we passed tech. We did. It's exciting. Um. Pretty we much gotta, went off without a hitch. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get some uh, uh, arm restraints. Arm so if we flip. Our arms don't go flying out and kill right. us. And new foam. Yeah, we gotta get different foam. This is just base hardware, garbage, whatever. Uh, but it'll pass for now. Oh, I need to put zip ties on it before we go up. Right. Uh, but there was a snafu with our registration. So basically, we, however it happened, we only ended up registering for the donut pad, which is not the actual drifting thing. Definitely not gonna have all of that thing. But. but Next time. We're still gonna go rip it right now. Yeah. So, uh, let me do the, the zip ties zip real ties. quick and then we'll be good to go. Word. They told us we can't drift because we registered too late. There was a confusion and whatever. Um, and then they told us we could still do the donut pad. So awesome, we'll do the donut pad. Um, and then as we're trying to, I'll put it on the passenger side because. Where, yeah, you don't need that in your. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, as we're trying to drive over the donut pad, the lady at the gate says, hey, turn your headlights on. And I said, hey, I don't have headlights. <laughs> she says, hey, you can't drive. And I say, that's bullshit. Because this is a racetrack. Um, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> we'll see if this works. 
Probably won't. Probably won't. But, but I'm going to zip tie this on real fucking tight. And we're going to cross our fingers. Yeah. So, we'll see. And now we have lights. Boom. Let me try it. Let me go for one more zip tie. Take that rule book. Which, by the way, not in the rule book. Not in the rule book. And the lady who teched us specifically told us exactly that we would be okay. But here, but here we, we are. are. Well, that's better. Does it work? <laughs> it's the headline. Woo! Thank you. The, the lady took our, our super ghetto <laughs> little headlight. <Wow>. Yeah! <laughs> uh, we didn't take no for an answer. We sure didn't take no for an answer. We used our noggins <laughs> and we got out there. We did. We did it. Three we did runs. Three runs. Um, Sky got two in. They weren't, you know, I, I don't know that it was worth right. 40 bucks a person, but it was also our fault for getting here three and a half hours late. Where was that? Uh, Where was and then sure taking that? time to get shit off the trailer. <laughs> right, right. And then <laughs> taking time for tech. We didn't get right. out there until like what, 8.45, 9 o'clock? It was late, it was late. It's about so, 8.30 or so, yeah. Yeah, so we got what we got. The car performed, it performed. <laughs> yeah. It, it, the motor is great. The we motor is totally fine. The suspension and yeah. the feel of it. So basically we need coilovers. The The stock suspension is just super loose and shitty. Yeah. Uh, it's not really even stock suspension, it's lowering springs. Which right. this is, Which are not this even is still useful better anymore. than stock, right. but, but not by much. taking all the weight off, so it's sitting a little higher than it was when we first got it. Right. And so that's, you know, an added right. difference. Right. So, uh, man, I'm like super pumped. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm we're gonna hang out. I coming into this, if yeah. I'm being real honest. So, <laughs> you know, so. so Jay got his first run yeah. and it was sick. <laughs> I, was I, I try to like teach him how to do a donut and just like, yeah. Go at it methodically. He's like, no, I'm just gonna rip it. I definitely burned some tire though. So yeah. So let's do a walk around. Yeah. Let's make sure everything looks good. And I think everything yeah. looks exactly the same. These tires still have tread, yeah. so we're gonna use those yeah. for the next event. This one burned a lot more. I guess we did come in a lot of like. Yeah, I mean, well, because it's um, right, because right, it's right, welded right. diff. They're both doing the same thing every time, anyway. Um, Tail lights. Oh, that's the other thing. I have to get the headlights mounted, so I'm gonna buy some brackets for that. Because right, right. because we can't hood rich with the uh, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, we we, fa could. we fabulous. We so, we get fabulous, but I like, mean, we could, but we have lights. Yeah, so it's better. Might yeah, as well. I, like literally, the lights are in the shop. It's fine. Um, but the harnesses work perfectly. Yeah, I got to do some adjustments. The which, were perfect. I had to do some adjustments on the harness, which yeah. sucks because it means I have to take the seats of fucking that was out some again. Bullshit. We'll, um, we'll record it next time so you can see how yeah. much bullshit it actually was. Yeah, but dude, I'm so fucking pumped. Huh, dude. Yeah! <laughs> First event in the bag, kind of. Yeah, All right. I kind of. uh, got a bunch of shit to do before yeah. Saturday morning when we leave for uh, Burnyard Bash. Um, I might even look to see if um, 
Harbor Freight has any of those trailers in stock. Oh, yeah. Because if they do, I'll just right, go buy one. Get it, yeah. um, and it, you know, it depends on how big the trailer is and all that shit. But, oh man, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. <laughs> so pumped.